Good morning, here we are on the M20. Uh, just got out of Maidstone Services. It got even worse in there last night. It was absolutely chock-a-block. One bloke took about half an hour to shunt into a tiny space. Fair play to him. He had all his mates came out and helped him. And, but he needed it. it. It was ridiculously tight. It parked all over the place. And there's a guy this morning almost blocking one of the roads out. Parked right opposite a load of boulders that's stopping you sort of going up on the curb a bit. Uh, how he got any sleep last night, I don't know. I, I, I doubt very much he did. He was probably knocked up and beeped at a lot of times. But anyway, uh, we're 190 miles from our first delivery point. Well, it's taken nearly two and a half hours just to get up onto the M4 due to delays on the M25, apparently there was some protesters, there's been accidents that have shut it a bit, uh, this, that, the other, but uh, yeah, here we are, two and a half hours just to get here, man. So I'm not going to make it in one hit, I've got 113 miles to go, and I've got two hours left to do it. Did 56 and a half miles an hour solid for the next two hours. I'd just arrive on the doorstep. Anyway, um, luckily I built a bit of time into the job anyway. Like I said yesterday, uh, if I if I didn't make it in one it, I'd still have enough time to get a 45 in, so I'm gonna run as much time as I can out on this first four and a half hour shift. Um, then it gives me a, a full shift for, for the next one. So, here we go again. No trouble. Everybody wanted to come off at the same junction, leaving it to the last minute and then cutting the cross look. What's these fellas on the inside lane now? There you go, the van, the van's just going to pull in, look. Because you can't be bothered queuing like everybody else. Right, let's have a quick look around this beautiful XG Plus cab. You've got the full leather, heated and cooled seat, obviously air suspended, leather armrest on the door, all the mirror controls, door, door and window controls, auto lights, uh, digital display on the dash, digital display for the radio and everything there um, you switch it to the phone or whatever you want it to do uh, there you go there's the digital
nice little display on the dash. I'll just turn that off and then I'm not draining the battery. Wait a second, here we are. Uh, all the lights in here, you can have blue tinted lights running across the tops there and around the doors and stuff. Or full lights or partial lights or sunroof up and down. Uh, he's got storage in there, I won't open that one. Um, that one, microwave, absolute pleasure. So that's dead handy. Just done a bit of breakfast in there this morning and another storage one there. Shut that before it falls out. Um, these useless little storage bins are across the top. The top bunk I've dropped down, normally it stores up out of the way. Um, I've dropped it down because I've put all my gear up there, just in boxes and bags and stuff, so that uh, it's not encroaching into the bed space. And then down the bottom here, we've got fridge freezer each side. Uh, and then the gimmicky thing is the bed, if you watch there, drops down, raises up. Uh, you can even do the bottom end as well with these with these buttons here. I am I am bothered with that. But uh, yeah, the good thing is uh, um, you'll have seen in some of my other videos where I pull up on the side of the road. If it's sloping the wrong way, um, you have to sort of bump up on the curb or whatever. Whereas with this, you can actually raise your head, so all the blood's not rushing to your head. Though your um, your feet would still obviously. I mean, if I were parked here now, it's sloping that way like that. So though I could raise my head, uh, my feet would still be sloping the wrong way. But otherwise, a beautiful, beautiful thing to drive. Fabulous piece of kit, huge bed. Um, I just maybe, I don't know whether they, I, I'm, I'm not keen on this little thing up here. I think it's a bit of a waste of space. Um, and there's never anywhere to hang clothes. Even in the old Volvos in the old days, they used to have a wardrobe at one end. And I'm sure you could easily fit one at one end of that. But I suppose then you're, you're encroaching on the uh, length of the bed for your taller people. But I suppose they could give it as an optional extra. I'm only small, I'd, I'd certainly go for one if I was in it full time. But yeah, uh, beautiful piece of kit lovely to drive lovely to live in nice working space nice environment the mirrors are some of the best i've ever seen they stay clear they don't get a load of spray on them they're really good obviously fully adjustable but yeah there we are that's, that's about it just finishing my break and then we'll head to the first drop Okay, so back to the bay, job done. I uh, got here at half eleven. Oh, he said, you're early. I said, yeah, I know, 12 o'clock. He said, no, you're not booked in till one. Anyway, back in on the bay and we'll get to you. So uh, I backed on the bay and they're gonna get to me. So that's good. Um, for some reason, the dashboard completely froze and locked up. It was showing uh, 28 minutes drive, 27 mile an hour, even when I was stopped and all the rest of it. So I've switched everything off and uh, I'm just about to power it back on and I'll tell you what it's saying it looks like it's reset itself so don't know what that was a little bit of a malfunction anyway we sorted I don't know what that little place is there but it's like a, a little castle or something goodness knows anyway we're currently fighting our way through Bristol traffic which is pretty chocker, uh, about 20 miles from the second delivery point, uh, yeah, 23 miles from the second delivery point. It's saying an hour, I'm hoping it'll be less than that, but looking at the traffic, it could be three quarters of an hour. Uh, and then 15 pallets to deliver to them, and then ring the guys and find out what we're doing next. Hopefully, something interested. Well, good evening everyone. This is slightly different. Uh, I've had 24 hours off in the yard, picked up an empty fridge 
and I'm heading across to South Wales to drop this trailer off, uh, park there overnight and pick up a load in the morning for Belgium, I think he said. So we're just crossing the bridge now, uh, about just over an hour away from um, delivery point, uh, or collection point rather. Uh, yeah, like I say, just drop this trailer off and uh, get some bed, uh, get some grub and head to bed. Nice run up here then, just over two hours, uh, two hours and four minutes to get in, drop trailer, park up and all a lot, park next to one of ours. And uh, there's another one at the other end of the yard and another one just pulling in, but I think he's he's just a sort of a local man, so he'll be just dropping and swapping, I guess. Uh, chap next to me says they don't normally start too early here in the morning. They're not loading through the night, so should be able to get 11 off tonight, which is good. 